Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, we're gonna discuss uh, how you can make the preview of my link on Facebook pretty. I saw this question in the Kartra official Facebook group and I know how to answer this question, so I figured I'd shoot a video explaining how to do it. And this will fix how your preview link looks on Facebook, on Twitter, and Google Plus, and probably some other networks as well. So they all use the same uh, meta code in order to to figure out what images and stuff to display. So what Lindsay here is talking about is if you go to like a Facebook page and you want to share a link and you just paste in your your Kartra link and it loads up a little preview here looking like this right here so it's not very pretty it's not pulling in an image the the text doesn't match up and so on so we can go ahead and change that and that's what we're gonna do in this video so first things first go over to Kartra and you want to locate the page that you want to beautify. And we'll go ahead and edit that page. And what you wanna do is you wanna come into settings here and go to tracking code. And we're going to add some tracking code into the head area. Now the tracking code, I have some right here. I'll go ahead and link to this down below this video so you could grab it as well. And let me open up a notepad document real quick so we can kind of look at this code together. So let's see here. So first things first, we have our URL, which is just the URL that we are sharing. Now we don't necessarily need to have that content. Then there's also the type field. So you could change this. There's article, website. If you Google like OG tags and then see what the options are, you can get more details on what they do. But the main ones you probably are looking for are title, description, and image. Those are the three key ones that people are gonna see when you share your links on Facebook. So with that said, we can go ahead and customize this a little bit. So let me do these free book, the sales funnel book. And then we could have a description. Click here to grab your copy of the sales funnel book. All right, cool. And then we can go ahead and add our image. Now you could host your image elsewhere if you want to, but I'm gonna show you how you could host it on Kartra. So let's pop over to Kartra real quick. And what I wanna go ahead and do, which is kind of a backwards thing, is go to components here, look for images, drag an image over just anywhere, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, click on it, and go ahead and find your image. Got my custom image right here. And I'll go ahead and select it, confirm, apply. All right, and then I wanna go ahead and right click on this image and do copy image address. And then I'll paste it in here just to see if it loads up and looks like I think it should. So there we go, so there's my image hosted on Kartra. So now I can flip that image URL right into here boom just like that and then what I want to go ahead and do is come back to Kartra we can delete the image off the page now and we're good to go so let's come back to this code real quick now one thing that's kind of tricky about this in order to make it work on Kartra is that we have to add a closing script tag and an opening script tag because that's how Kartra works and that's how to kind of get around how Kartra works so at the top, we want to do a closing script tag. And at the bottom, we want to do an opening script tag. And in adding those two things, when we add this, the OG information, the open graph information, um, Kartra will actually present it correctly. If you don't have these script tags, then it's not going to work. So that's something to note. Even if you don't understand what the scripts are doing, you need them and so on. So let's come back into tracking code, paste it in the head area, just like that. Hit apply. Come back over to publish live. And we'll grab the page link real quick. And let's come back over to Facebook. Delete out my test here. Let me refresh the page. And let's share it and see what happens. Okay, so when I shared it again, we still have that same old information. So what we need to go ahead and do is tell Facebook to look for new information because we just added new information. So let me delete this out of here again. 
and close it. And in order to tell Facebook that we've added new information, what you wanna do is search for Facebook debugger. And I can link to this down below as well, but I always just Google Facebook debugger. You'll come to a page that looks like this. Paste your URL into the debug area and hit scrape again. And you see that it kind of updated. We got free book, the sales funnel book. Click here to grab your copy of the sales funnel book. So we're halfway there. The thing that did not work is the image. So let me go ahead and hit debug again. And there we go. So sometimes you have to hit debug and scrape again and debug and scrape until all of the elements of your open graph tags populate into Facebook. So as you see, now we got my custom image, my title here, and my description all showing up. So if I come back over to my Facebook page and refresh it real quick, hopefully, and I wanna share that link again. Now, there we go. Now, now Facebook is presenting my image, my custom description and my custom title when I share my link on Facebook. So that's how you go ahead and you add custom image, description, and title. And it's kind of a roundabout way because you got to work within Cartridge platform, but there you go. That's how you go ahead and you make pretty preview links on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, I think Pinterest uses the same open graph tag. So all those social media networks and when you share your link now, you'll have a pretty preview.